When it comes to pricing your product, you want to look at many factors. But at the end of the day, it's going to come down to access. And what I mean by that is, what type of access are you giving people to your information? There's different levels of access, right? Okay, so having a PDF to read, that's one level of access. Having videos for people to watch, that's another level of access. Having your content available in HTML on your website, well, that's another form of access. Shipping a two workbook, four DVD, and six CD physical product, that's another level of access. Or inviting someone to your office or your home to learn more from you personally, well, that's still another level of access. And at the end of the day, you and a lot of other people are probably offering the same information. Okay, so you may have a different twist on it. But the more levels of access you give to people, the higher price you're going to be able to charge for it. You know, the various levels of access you give people could make the difference very well between, say, a $97 ebook or a $197 ebook and two CDs, a $200 ebook and two CDs, or a $500 uh, ebook, two CDs, and two personal phone calls and so on. You know, you see that like you can just keep going. The, the more access you give people, uh, the higher up you can go. So determining your price, okay? If you have to ask yourself this question, if I had the same problem that these people do, you know, your customers, what would you be willing to pay for it? Well, that initial number you come up with can be good enough for your first price point, okay? I, I was listening to an interview recently where a founder of a very high-powered tech startup uh, that you would probably all know the name. He mentioned that you know they picked their starting price points kind of off the top of their head based on what the market's doing, and then they'll come back later and they'll do extensive testing and see what is the actual best price point. And oftentimes they find that that initial off-the-cuff price uh, it's beating out you know all of this other advanced testing that they're doing. Okay, so what you need to do is check around, you know, see what your market is offering, and then just give it a shot. I mean, sometimes people get way too hung up in the, you know, an analysis and uh, they get all analytical and what should we actually be charging? I think you just pick a price point and you go for it. Features, benefits, and bullet points. You want to include bullet points that are benefits derived from features. What that means is that they state the benefit first, which is what your customer cares about, followed by the feature that's gonna make that happen for them. So the feature is what it does, and then the benefit is the feeling, the emotion, and the real reason why they're gonna pay you for your product. Here's an example of some different bullet points from one of John's products, okay? Create multiple user accounts so you can have personal and privately scheduled activities. And then it goes into it more in depth, okay? Next one, take your prospect information with you on the road, wherever you go, okay? What they're looking for is they wanna have their information portable. And then the feature that does that is in the software, it's in real prospect. 